Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? Just see you back again with another reaction. Today, I'm reacting to BTS's Cypher Part 1. This is a lyric analysis, so I'll be breaking down the lyrics line by line, trying to figure out what the uh, what the meaning of the song is as well. And, uh, yeah, you know, I have heard this song before, but I think, like, four or five years ago, I think when it first came out. So, you know, it's, it's not that fresh in my mind, but hopefully I can, you know, enjoy the rediscover the song in a more um, understanding manner. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, so damn, uh, okay, damn, the hip hop pride, auto rapper, because that's bullshit. So obviously, this is a call out to all people that think auto rappers aren't as uh, lyrically, uh, what do you call, it? lyrically, uh, what's the word, lyrically endowed as hip hop rappers are. So he's, he's calling that uh, cut the BS. Um, you know, there's a lot of disdain when it comes to idol rappers versus hip hop rappers. So this is a really great call, especially. <coughs> Especially, oh no, oh, especially when, especially when it comes to you know this idols rapping versus hip hop rapping. So, I think this is a really great you know call out, especially you know debut song. Like they're in like you know in a, not debut song, but you know like when they first came out, you can kind of you can kind of see the the what's it called what's it called the hype behind their frustration with the idols with the idols so with the really the K-pop industry or K-hip hop industry in a sense. Okay, he's originally an idol. Shit. Anyways, they look down. This. So that's you know obviously the thing. He's originally an idol. We don't we don't really care what we're saying. They look down and down on me. They look down on all, really all uh, idol rappers. And I think you know the the fact that he's able to call this out, especially in when it comes to like you know an early idol group coming up. You kind of you can kind of feel the you know the frustration he has inside of his heart. I give their principles to the dogs and laugh at my name. Again, like this thing, give the principle to the dogs. They're like, they're saying, oh, you know, we have to, idol hip hop rappers have to be like this, they have to dress like this, they have to act like this. The hip hop rappers have to be a certain way for them to be hip hop rappers. They can't, they can't dance, they can't be like, you know, act happy, they have to be, they have to be really serious and like, I'm, I'm a rapper, you know, it's kind of have to be like that. So I think, I think this is great, man. You know how to go with the tide and look down on others. You only know how to oh, you know how to go with the tide and look down on others. Again, he's saying you only follow the crowd. You're you're only you're only a sheep among the herd that will follow me eventually. You know, and that's true. You know, sometimes you have to really make your own ways in this uh, in this society and a lot of societies. You can't really just you know just follow the wave because sometimes the waves going off a cliff. You know, so you gotta you gotta be aware of stuff like that. So how you kill me to bring the monsters back? So he's saying that uh, you can't kill me, really. I'm, I'm a monster among idols. I'm a monster among rappers. So my my own my own inspiration, my own talent will survive even after being killed. You know. Hey, what did you say? In modern day. In modern day, Hong Hong kills Dong. Hong Gil Dong. Oh, Hunky Dong, I think he's like a Robin Hood, right? So he's saying he's taking from these hip hop rich people that have this really like rich etiquette of like how how all how how all how all rappers have to be. And he's taking these these rapping skills and giving them to the to everybody, giving them to anybody that just wants to rap, you know, any idol rapper or idol in, in that sense. Yeah. Let's keep going. They can say good things but they can't call it good. So they say good things but can't call it good. Oh they see is that see? Yeah, this so they see good things but they can't call it good. Again, that's call that's calling out the bullshit that is the BS, sorry. They're calling out the BS that is people like saying, like, he's good but he's an idol, you know, he's good. You know, he's not really gonna I mean, make it in the hip hop industry. He's he's just a idol, he's gonna be in the pop charts, you know. So it's really they're trying to create a divide among you know, among the people. Third generation leader, so I'm I'm a lead I'm I'm a lead you. Third generation leader, so I'm a lead you. Again, third generation idol, a leader, as in third generation of idols came out, and you know I'm a lead you. Again, he does lead their these almost like a like Moses leading the you know leading the what do you call it? the the Hebrews through the through the ocean. You know he divides the ocean. He breaks up 
this divide that they're trying to have against idols and uh, idols and hip hop rappers. And so he does this and he brings all these idol rappers with him and it really does showcase the, the power that comes with, you know, not only knowing what you're talking about, also having great bars that are constantly uh, evolving and even showcasing your own, uh, your own flaws on the big screen, you know? Just to stay top of the top top. So he's really talking about I'm gonna be the one dominating everything soon. So you just you should really just be bowed down to me. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying about it, but he's really accepting. This song really is about acceptance. He just wants to be accepted by the people that keep trying to divide him. This real classism of like you're an idol. You're just an idol and I'm 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 really the hard person. I'm really the person that's really, you know, giving my whole life to hip hop, you know. I was always been generous. Again, see, he's like, I was always trying to be courteous. I was always trying to be nice to you guys. But all you do is just spit in my face. All you do is attack me for being a, an idol, you know? So there's really, there's a lot of disdain in this, but a lot of hurt feelings that, you know, you can't really, you can't really express. So the best way to do it is through, you know, hip-hop and through his rhymes so you can express it in a more healthier way. Mm-hmm, see that? He really is, you know, just trying. It's almost like a revenge, but really, obviously, he's just he's just trying to, you know, let his frustrations out in a more positive way, which is always good, you know. Never let your frustrations come out physically. <laughs> let 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 it come out, you know. Um, you know, like, let your frustrations come out, you know, in a more healthier, you know. Sometimes poetry, writing, singing, uh, you know, anything that'll help you just get your frustrations out in a more positive way is always better than, you know, violence. I guess. Rap monster, rap the red D, rap mon, you're done. What, um, I don't know who, are those different people? Or are those the same person? He's saying, okay, and I think he's just trying to say, soon enough I'll be, I'll be so big that you're just going to call me father. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Uh, this is J-Hope, right? J-Hope. Right now it's, it's Hope World from BTS. Everyone follow me, my potential gets retweeted. Again, that is true. A lot of, like, when they're coming through, a lot of the great thing about, you know, idol rappers and idols in general is that there's a lot of potential inside there. And I really love the, you know, the encouraging feelings that a lot of fans have whenever they listen to new groups. Like, well, I can see this group going big. And that's always great. You know, I can, I'm can. i always happy seeing people just being really encouraging. I hate it when people like, this group sucks, this group's trash. You know, just kind of attack groups for no reason, really. And, like... You don't have to hate. You just everyone can everyone can get through on. You know, let them let them all be happy. Okay, this song really is about you know it's about the, you know building your self esteem. I am I'm a great rapper. I'm I'm a I'm a <laughs> I'm a great person. You know, I I do things amazingly. You know, just really trying to build himself up. You know, inside because you know sometimes a lot of the world looks down on him. Because you know he's like he's just a, he's just an idol, you know. And there's there's also a really interesting dilemma about that is that the idols are looked down on. But idols are people that bring, you know, bring uh, bring money from the outside world into your world. You know what I mean? So it's kind of you know interesting how they say idol rappers really aren't the best ones. People just love idol rappers more than they listen to you know hip hop rappers. You know. I like that, you know, again, when you look up, again, when you look up to people older than you, you see them all really, you know, being successful, you're like, well, I want to be like that one day, you know, but then when you get there, people are like, well, you're not, you're not like me, you're just, you're just nobody right now, and it's kind of like, it kind of hurts because you're like, you were looking up to them, you know, you had a lot of like, uh, love for them, but when you reach that same place that they're in, all of a sudden, they're no longer that same person that they were when they, when you first saw them, they're, they're now these, People that you have to bat on to. There's not these people that look down on you constantly. I wouldn't hope to remind if he's holding on to their next jail plays a full. 
on top of the game that rides with him is hip hop. Okay. Again, this song is really just about, you know, uh, I can see there's a lot of, you know, distrust, not only in the industry, but among his own friends, among among his own, you know, idol companions as well. Is you know, people always, you know, trying to divide, divide us to trying to say, oh, you're this, I'm this. And that's no longer, because you, again, you're all really, you're all really in this for the same thing. You all want to see the other person succeed, right? Right? Don't you? Yeah. Okay, this is a uh, Suda. I have yet to go to the army, but my hobby is sharpshooting. Oh, that's a great line. Again, this is really a thing. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna call it everybody I need to, knock them out. There's, there's no problem with that because you know, again, when people are really are attacking you, you know, in terms of like this, what's the word? This, um. Anyway, um, yeah, when the people are doing that, you know, it really is great to you know, have a little attack with, uh, you know, with these rhymes and these lyrics. Shit, we are was a big hit. Yeah, that is true. We are Roof was a big hit. And you know, there's a lot of pride in that when you see your own your own style and your own music really just blowing up because it can it can kind of gives you encouragement that you know what I'm doing now is going to you know is going to make it. You know, I like they they like me for who I am. They like me for the talent that I'm showing. You know what I mean? A little more for you. My pronunciation is 4K. <laughs> okay, damn. Yeah, Sukkah's really calling him out. I really like, I don't know. Obviously, I like Ratmon and J Hope, but Sukkah's like, he's really like, he's almost attacking people, like, in, in, more, in more of like a, you know, a lyrically comedic sense. Like, he's attacking them, but also, like, almost dissing them all at the same time. Hey. Wonder Man from me, I'm the, what chopping of the best? Again, this song again right now is about silver steam. Even if you attack me, I know who I know my own my own goals. I know what I am. I know who I am. You know, I'm I'm a rapper. I'm uh, you know I'm a singer. I'm a comedian. It really doesn't matter as long as you know who you are. No matter who attacks you, you're fine because you're secure in your own. In your own being, you know. Again, I really love uh, what these lyrics are about. It's really about, you know, him knowing that he's good. He's knowing. That he is a great rapper, knowing that what he's doing is successful. All right, so that was uh, BTS Cipher Part One. Now I I can kind of see like the battles that they have internally just from this song because Rapmon he was battling really society. His songs are about how society is you know attacking attacking uh, attacking him. It's, it's society is saying you're this, you're this, and so it kind of like. Like that, but then J Hope was really about you know the internal battle. J Hope was like self esteem, like I want to build my self esteem up, so I'm great, I'm good at this, I'm I'm awesome at this. You guys don't understand how good I am, you know, kind of like that. So you know, build your self esteem up. But then uh, Sugar is like really about a man that's secured in his own, in his own, you know, he's secure in his own self, you know. So it's really about the world attacking him, but he's able to battle them head on. So he's saying I'm a sharp shooter because he really can battle them head on. He no longer is, you know, battling others because he's, 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 he's secure in who he is, which is why he can just attack others. And that's, that's awesome, man. I really enjoy the different uh, styles of rap that they brought, you know, security and, you know, in your, in your self, self-esteem issues and, uh, you know, societal issues about, you know, classism and, like, the, the differential, differential uh, divide between, you know, uh, hip-hop uh, rappers and idol rappers. And yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with me of uh, my analysis? You know, if not, tell me why. If so, do tell me so. Uh, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, put in the comments down below. Just to 